And this is how a very, very rewarding moment looks for me. I can finally showcase our latest collaboration project with Leonardo of China Italiana and I can share it with you all. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the BMJ YouTube channel. I'm your host, Amy, and for the next few minutes, I'm gonna showcase something that I worked for the past nine months with three individual very, very talented people to put together for our um, audience. This is big, this is important. It's been nine months and it feels like eternity because uh, I'm getting goosebumps all over and I'm very, very excited to showcase this project. Everything comes down to details. I've worked with someone very talented in regards of this custom box because I know that usually pants come inside cardboard boxes. I wanted to go a step forward and to put together the ultimate shopping experience for this interesting exclusive writing instrument of Penvenger. Let me showcase the Leonardo of China Italiana Penvenger exclusive Urushi Essenza. We've named it Essenza because it is closely related to this Leonardo of China Italiana model, the Essenza. We've went above and beyond to create one of the most interesting shopping experiences. So this box is made out of natural wood which is engraved with this beautiful, beautiful logo and a droplet which symbolizes essence. On the side right here, we have the Leonardo logo with the wings and on the back, we have the signature of the person which created this box. The Instagram account of David, which is responsible for this uh, work and you can contact him because he does a lot of interesting things with wood. This box, it's naturally uh, dyed. Because this fountain pen means a lot to me, I didn't want it to be unveiled at the first moment that you open the box. So I've constructed a, a story. So if you open the box, the fountain pen is uh, inside one of these uh, pouches, which is very, very soft and protects the inside fountain pen. It sits very, very safe. So this is it right here. This is the first time that this fountain pen is showed. We picked one of the most uh, minimalistic models of Leonardo of China Italiana. Was made out of Japanese high-end quality ebonite and we wanted to have uh, this kind of uh, platform to work with Urushi. So I asked Leonardo of China Italiana if they can provide me with 14 pieces that will be used in order to have this Urushi project nine months ago, and they said yes. For everything that means Urushi, I've joined with uh, Pen Teo or Mr. Theodore. And of course, you already know that I've teamed up with Michael from Taminuri Studio in the past for another exclusive edition of ours with Leonardo of China Italiana, and we did two individual fountain pens. This is a Momento Zero Grande 2019 edition with the captured converter in Akata Minuri, which was a very, very successful edition. It went sold out in a few hours. Also together with it, we had another exclusive fountain pen launched at the same time. This was Midori Taminuri, this beautiful, beautiful black over uh, green. For this project that we have in front of us, I've picked Akata Menuri, which is basically the same finish like the one from the previous edition. It is applied by a different person, a different artist, a very, very talented artist, which in time became my friend. We've met at the Dutch Pen Show. He had a table in front of myself. We said hi, and I came to realize he is Romanian, just like myself, but he lives in Czech Republic. On Instagram, Pen Teo. He is a pen maker and Rushi artist. I'm gonna link his Instagram right here. Show him some love because he does wonderful things. A lot of work went into this project and a lot of patience and uh, I'm super happy about the project. Now, uh, let me show you what I was able to put together. Urushi is actually the set of the lacquer tree, which is applied in multiple layers by Urushi artists on different objects, and they give a very, very stunning effect, and the color of 
the Urushi lacquer is something that I cannot explain in words because it's so complex and it needs a lot of skill and a lot of practice demanding a lot of technique and experience. So Theo, you did an amazing job. It is like watching into a pond. In the middle of the pond, which uh, has a darker water, you cannot see the bottom of uh, the pond. And right at the edges, you can clearly spot we have this bright and interesting red. You can see also on the finial and all of the edges show this impressive gradients in regards of the color. And I put this Urushi side by side, Urushi that's top-notch like Nakaya like for example Danny Trio this is a flawless job we have the overall shape of the fountain pen flat at ends we have no clip contrary to what we did in the past I didn't use the clip because I think it's sacrilegious to actually drill and apply a cap right now on the fountain pen but it is possible if you are looking for such a thing uh, let me know and I can assemble one of these fountain pens with clip. I personally don't like it with the clip. A very, very nice and subtle shape, which is at the thickest point right here, tapering in on both ends. We have a screw cap. I think we have two complete turns and we uncap the fountain pen, revealing the nib. In regards of nib, we went at size 8 gold nib, gold plated to go well with the overall red colors of this impressive Urushi. On this nib we have the Leonardo logo, laser engraved, 14 karat and this is a broad. These nibs are available in extra fine, fine, medium broad and I think a 1.3 millimeter stub. I went with a broad on my artist proof fountain pen. If we turn the nib like so we can see that we have red color ebonite feeder. I went with red because I wanted to have something to match the fountain pen and I think this red is perfect. This ebonite feeder is hit set to the nib so it has a very very rich and consistent ink flow. Friction fit the nib and the feeder and we have this very very ergonomic section which has a slight slight hourglass shape but it is not that obvious. In the middle it's a little bit thinner and flares out on both ends. Take a look at the color of this section. This is very, very impressive. And uh, it, I, I, every single point on this fountain pen, if you take a closer look, you discover another dimension of this impressive Urushi lacquer color. The Akata Minuri is just flawless. The threads are covered in Urushi, and uh, this is a very, very light Urushi coating black and uh, everything flows very well and the actual way this fountain pen caps is so so smooth we have a step up right here which is not sharp at all very nice you can see the impressive striking red color we have the barrel which is a thickest point right here moving towards this ridge right here which marks the end knob Apparently this fountain pen is equipped with a piston filling mechanism made by Leonardo of China Italiana. Their in-house made uh, piston filling mechanism disassembled using their own key. This fountain pen is full of ink so I cannot operate safely this system. I can just turn it a little bit so you can see. This is probably one of the first Urushi fountain pens that have piston filling mechanism. At least this is, in my opinion, uh, one of the first because I haven't seen other Urushi fountain pens with piston filling mechanism. I've seen them with uh, shot of valve, I've seen them uh, eyedropper, but in regards of pistons, I think this is the first one. Uh, if I'm mistaken, comment down below, let me know uh, what other piston filling mechanism fountain pens are made in Urushi. We have the end knob, which again shows the beauty and the intricacy of this Urushi lacquer technique. And uh, on right here, opposite to the slit on the back, we have the limited edition number, which is painted on a few coats of Urushi is applied over it. It's done in Roman number. So we have dash X and three Y's. That means this is dash out of 13. In total, we are having 14 fountain pens. This is number 14, my uh, Artist Pro fountain pen. Pretty much this sums up all of the details of this creation and it's a simple fountain pen, yet in its simplicity, it's very complex, very hard to put together. This is our latest 
exclusive collection that you can find only on Pan Venture. My, my, my legacy, my work, my passion. I try to create stuff like this in order to leave something great behind and to have fountain pens that are very, very unlikely to happen. This is due to uh, the fact that I had to choreograph a very, very um, difficult symphony. I had to um, have a connection with someone which can apply this Urushi coating. I had to go forward and ask Leonardo of China Italiana to entrust me with one of their fountain pen models in order to apply this Urushi coating on them then to have them put together this fountain pen, these two, um, let's say, entities needed to communicate in between because applying Urushi on different surfaces is very, very um, unlikely to make the fountain pen to go well together. So they had to communicate. Then I had to go and pick my favorite way of showcasing uh, the shopping experience with the wood, with the engraving, with the numbered boxes and the boxes are numbered as well. But I'm going to leave this Easter gag for you to find where are the numbers of this uh, boxes, the serial number of the box. So everything had to work together in order to form an experience. The Momento Zero Grande Essenza and probably I'm already blushing because it's a very rewarding and emotional moment for me to come in front of you with this project, to showcase it, to be humble about it and proud in the same moment because this is what I was able to put together. So for me, it's very important. Now, let me showcase uh, a side-by-side -side size comparison with some dimensions. We have the Momento Zero Grande Storm in celluloid, the 2019 Momento Zero Grande Urushi Akata Menuri, our exclusive, the Momento Zero Grande Supernova Urushi Essenza, the Momento Magico in PM1, another exclusive of ours, and the Visconti Homo Sapiens. By the look of it, you can see that we have a lot of similarities in regards of length with the Supernova. Now, let's have a look uncapped. In this scenario, the Momento Zero Grande Urushi Essenza sits very, very like a Supernova, and it is a little bit taller than a Momento Magico, and the section, by the looks of it, it is not like the Momento Zero Grande, nor the Storm Cellular it is very very much alike the supernova without the ink window let's put this impressive writing instrument to the paper what can i say i'm i'm, I'm super proud of the outcome uh, I'm, I'm blushing i'm emotional um, i think this shows a lot of evolution from us it shows a lot of passion that went into creating this project i've picked the right person I've picked the right fountain pen to have as a base and uh, I'm super thankful for Leonardo of China Italiana to trust me with this process because you actually as a brand need to entrust someone else to take your model and to do something to it and then to showcase it with the Leonardo of China Italiana name. So thank you, thank you very much. The pen. This is Leonardo Momento Zero Grande Urushi Essenza. And we have the nib, 14 karat gold, size eight. And this is a broad because I've missed having some broads in my inventory. Ink, diamine, blood orange. A very very nice fiery red ink and uh, let's have a go and test out the wetness like I told you this is a friction fit ebonite feeder and uh, it shows because this fountain pen with the broad nib it's a very very wet writer and uh, I love wet writers um, now let's have a look in normal figure of eights and uh, to be honest this nib comes with a slight slight uh, stub like grind the horizontal lines are a little bit thinner than the vertical ones and this is something that I don't find unpleasant I like this and the way that this um, is very very cursive helps a lot and 
it puts a lot of uh, character to your writing. Flex, not that you would push this beautiful broad nib, but when you push it, it adds some line variation, not too much. Um, we can see a slight increase in regards of the flow, so uh, more ink puts down a broader uh, line and altogether shows like line variation. But in my opinion, if you go for a broad, I don't think you're gonna flex it. Now let's use the famous sentence right here to test out how this fountain pen is writing. The quick brown fox jumps. Here is just where I lifted the nib from the paper doing all of the flourishings. We have no skipping, no hard starts, no whatsoever, and this nib is flawless in every single way. Over the lazy dog. A lot of flourishing, a lot of movement, rapid, and this nib and feet keeps up very, very well. And Leonardo of China Italiana uses this flagship nib and uh, I think it's a stunning option on every single Leonardo of China Italiana fountain pen. I don't know where to start and uh, this is the part of the video in which I'm relaxing because I'm done with the technical specs, I'm done with the nib, with the size comparison and this is where I can relax and share more of what I personally think about the fountain pen that I have in front of me. I know this is an overview and not a review. So this fountain pen, it is something that's biased to me in order to share my thoughts because this is the creation that I've put together. I've chose this shape because I think this is what I regard to being a very, very nice, a very, very minimalistic shape in order to be coated in Urushi. In order to not have a very, very intricate shape for a fountain pen that can draw your attention from the actual technique, the lacquering technique, the Urushi, I've chose this shape for this fountain pen. And I couldn't be more, um, let's say, lucky because I picked this. Ooh. I've seen a lot of Urushi fountain pens and this is a flawless job. I love every single detail. I love this big flagship nib made out of gold. I love uh, the fact that we've put some black right here on the treads just for contrast. It goes well with the red. Uh, we have the gold colored nib with the logo. We don't have any other logos. We didn't want it to have branding stuff. We wanted to have just what you see, essence, oozing essence. We picked the Roman letters in order to keep it close to heritage, to Italy. I thought this is a very, very original way how to number fountain pens without being too much obvious and to just make you think of Italy. And right here, it's opposite to the, the slit. So when you hold the fountain pen like so, you don't see anything. If you turn it like so, you can see the limited edition number. I hope you can appreciate uh, this uh, joint effort of nine months into creating this writing instrument. This is available only on PenVenture. I'm gonna leave you the link down below. We have all of uh, the other fountain pens, the, the, the 13 fountain pens are at Leonardo of China Italiana waiting to be assembled. Something that I almost forgot are the dimensions of this fountain pen. So from end to end, we have 150 millimeters. Uncapped, the fountain pen measures 140 millimeters. And the total weight of the fountain pen fully inked and uncapped because you wouldn't want to pose this fountain pen and to scratch the Urushi. So, don't post it. The weight of the fountain pen, like so, in writing position is 35 grams. Ebonite is quite light, so it is a very light fountain pen, although it's an oversized fountain pen, uh, very similar to the Supernova. It's still practical and enjoyable. The price tag for this fountain pen, 1,120 euros Novat. I'm very grateful and thankful to Leonardo of Cine Italiana, to Panteo for the Rushi coating, uh, to David for the box and the shopping experience, which I think are a very, very high end level in regards of this creation. Thank you so much for staying so long on this video. If you're still here and if you want to support us, 
to grow further and to reach out to many more just like you, which are passionate individuals that love writing instruments. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. If you're not subscribed yet, you can subscribe right now. I'm gonna leave you this right here. Click subscribe, turn the notification bell on, and you will be notified whenever we have new content. In regards of content, if you want to still watch my videos, you have this right here. Click and enjoy. Like always, it's your host, Amy, and I will forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, order your Rushi Essenza from Penventure. Bye-bye.